Um, thank you both very much indeed, and thanks for coming in. Politics is my hobby, smut is my vocation, declared the porn publisher, founder of Hustler and free speech campaigner Larry Flint. And yet today he's waded into one of the most heavily political disputes of our time, the right to life for a man on death row who murdered many and left Flint himself paralysed from a gunshot wound. Joseph Paul Franklin has been convicted of eight racially motivated murders across the US. He's confessed to many more. I asked Larry Flint what happened that day in 1978. I was on trial for obscenity in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I was shot on my way to the courthouse. I woke up three months later, uh, and actually I was a whole year recovering. I really almost uh, died as a result of the gunshot wounds. But the man who shot me was never apprehended for several years. Uh, he had um, been prosecuted and convicted from were killing some more people that were all racially mo motivated crimes. He was an avowed racist himself. And uh, he supposedly had uh, shot me over a black and white photo feature that we had published in the magazine. Or that was what uh, instigated it. But uh, the fact that he got the death penalty and these other shootings that he done uh, never really changed my mind about that particular issue. I just never felt it was a deterrent, and I always felt that we uh, focused more on revenge than justice. He's scheduled to die next month. What would you like to see happen to him? Uh, I'm opposed to the death penalty. I think he should spend the rest of his life in prison. If the death penalty was a deterrent, I could support it. And most of the civilized nations, you know, agree on that point. We happen to be one that don't, and I think it's ridiculous. Y you've said you'd like to spend an hour in a room with him. What did you mean by that? Oh, well, I would like to inflict the same kind of punishment on him that he did on me. I said, I'd give me a pearl wire press and a screwdriver, and I could really uh, have some fun with him. It's not that uh, I don't want to see him punished. Uh, for what he's done. It's just I don't think that the government should be in the business of killing people. Does it make any difference if the families of the other men he's killed want to see him die on death row? Uh, no, it, it doesn't make any difference. I can't help it because these people are ill-informed, you know. They, they subscribe to the biblical philosophy, an eye for an eye, and uh, it just doesn't make sense. Larry Flint, you mentioned your trial for obscenity. You, of course, scandalized America 20 years ago uh, with your take on the porn industry. What do you think of that industry now? Today, uh, you know, what I was being uh, uh, criticized for and accused of, of uh, everything that was wrong in America is now being commonplace on the internet and on a great deal of television. So uh, Hustler Magazine is very tame compared uh, to what you see out there in the rest of the media. What do you think of uh, the porn on the internet now? Should, should the internet be unfettered or should there be controls? That's like being partially pregnant. You know, you either got a free press or you don't. And uh, the one thing that Americans still cherish is the right to a free press. At the moment, the British press is consumed uh, with questions of its own freedoms. Do you believe that freedom of speech within the British media and press is under threat? Uh, well, I think they have a right to be concerned because, as you know, in Great Britain, you, you don't have a, a constitutional right to a free press. So there's reasons to have pause about this, but the new technology is what's raising all of these questions. So I think it's time that uh, the governments get together with the technology people and come out with some rules for us to live by. So you think that the government should have some kind of regulation over the press? No, I didn't say that, but I'm saying that the government should have a right to uh, to be able to 
protect people from an invasion of privacy or from basic liable actions. Barry Flint, thank you very much. Okay, thank you.